Hello everybody, welcome back to the video, and today I'm going to be trying to solve Doctor Who's newest mystery. Who is Mrs. Flood? Now, yeah, I've had two incorrect prediction videos. The one who waits wound up being Sutek, and the mystery of Ruby's mother was essentially pulled right out of The Last Jedi. So, maybe third time's the charm, right? That, that's what I can hope for anyway. Alright, so, first of all, let's get, before we get into the mystery, let's go over what we have so far. So, Mrs. Flood, a seemingly nice old woman, has information about the TARDIS, can break the fourth wall, knows who the Doctor is, and more importantly knows that the Doctor's story ends in, quote, absolute terror. Okay, so that's actually something to go off of. Let's get started. Now, I did get a couple of comments in my One That Waits video saying, why does it have to be a villain? It wound up being a villain, but for the sake of argument, let's throw out some non-villainous names. Missy. So this is sort of the main theory going around, is that Mrs. Flood is a version of Missy, otherwise known as the Master. Missy is an iteration of the Master, played by Michelle Gomez during the Peter Capaldi era. Now... I don't necessarily hate this idea, but I'm going to add my own twist to it, which is that after doing some research on the Doctor Who Wikipedia, I uncovered something interesting, which is the idea of the Lumlot, Lumuit, Lum which is basically uh, follow a series of audio dramas, I believe, about the Master, or Missy, sorry, after well enough in time the Doctor falls, except after the regeneration, saying that basically Missy had split in two, and the Lumelot is sort of the good sides of Missy. Sound kind of familiar? This could be how RTD explains the whole concept of bi-generation, which basically it looks like from the season anyway, how I thought it worked was actually right, which is basically it's like that episode of What If, where the Ancient One splits Doctor Strange in two. So, pretty straightforward on that. But in addition to that, right, some people are saying, well, RTD already said the Master is on a break. He also said that this is going to be a great place for beginners of Doctor Who, and then brings back a villain from the 1970s for the finale. He... It might not be telling the absolute truth here, but at the same time, at this point, he might expect that we might expect that. It's sort of basically, for theorizing on if this character is actually a version of Missy, it's like that episode of Friends where Phoebe goes, they don't know we know we know that they know. Yeah, anyway, I think that it could be, but I think there's definitely some other, some interesting concepts that could work a little bit more. Now, I want to address Susan, not Susan Triad, who was basically um, a creation of a WMD created by Sutek, Weapon of Mass Destruction, effectively. Um, no, Susan Foreman, the Doctor's granddaughter. Now, I don't like the idea of Mrs. Flood being Susan, because Caroline Ford is still alive and seems eager to return to Doctor Who. However, I think there, that there is a way that it could work and could actually explain one of the biggest mysteries left that hasn't been addressed in the TV show. What if Mrs. Flood is Susan's Watcher? Now, I should, I'm going to explain this concept. The Watcher is basically a one-off regeneration concept, right? The Watcher shows up in the fourth Doctor story, Legopolis, as sort of an ominous figure overseeing the events of the story, and at the end of the story, proceeds to assist in the regeneration of Tom Baker's fourth Doctor into Peter Davidson's fifth Doctor. So, I mean, this is something that really hasn't been addressed. How does this work? Why does it only happen then? The Doctor has had bigger fights. You know, why was there not? a watcher for the events of the giggle or the end of time time of the doctor the power of the doctor you know why has this not been something that's come up was it just because 
uh, the showrunners at the time thought, you know, you know what, let's do something a little bit different. I mean, that's probably what they did, but this is still a mystery that has yet to be answered. And I think that bringing in Mrs. Flood as Susan's Watcher could make sense. Maybe the next season features the big return and gives Carol Ann Ford a grand send-off where maybe she regenerates and Mrs. Flood is her Watcher. That's an idea I've been kicking around. There's not really a lot of evidence to support it, but maybe. Um... All right, now let's move into, well, not entirely. Some people are saying, could she be a harbinger? I think, I don't think she's a harbinger, right? She seems to be a character with her own motivations that don't really support anyone else. Let's get into antagonists. The trickster. So, I think this was a, one that a lot of people had for The One That Waits. A lot of people had apparently guessed it would be the trickster. Um, and while a lot of people were pointing out that her costume is very similar to Missy, or something Missy would wear, my mind actually went to the Sarah Jane Adventures in the Wedding of Sarah Jane Smith, where the trickster wears an all-white version of his costume. So... Could Mrs. Flood be a disguise of a trickster? I think this could be interesting. It could also explain how she's able to break the fourth wall. <clears throat> and maybe has just been staying in that vicinity, knowing the doctor would show up there. But it looks like she's about to move at the end of the story, at the end of Empire of Death. So maybe she's going to be observing the doctor maybe maybe she's a pawn of the trickster but i think more likely she is going to be the trickster rather than a pawn this could be a very interesting way for this era to go right because maybe i'm really getting the vibe that the next season is going to be vengeance against the doctor by the pantheon by this pantheon of discord they're going to go after the Doctor in retaliation for the defeat of Sutet. That's what I think. So maybe Mrs. Flood is now the new head of the Pantheon as the trickster. I don't know. But another theory, right? Is... Okay, that was actually the main one that I had. Those are some options that I've been kicking around in my brain the last few days. Um... But yeah, Susan is one that's appearing a lot on the internet. I don't really would like to see that one. I discussed this earlier. If you're going to have Susan be involved, maybe Mrs. Flood could be her watcher. One final theory I'm going to throw out here. What if Mrs. Flood is actually the villain of 15's regeneration story? I know that's leaving it vague for not figuring out her identity, but this is the mystery RTD is choosing to move on with meaning it's going to be important to the rest of the era. Maybe it's regeneration story level. So, yeah, out of what I've discussed here, oh, a few other options just thought of. Could it be Romana? Right? We know Romana can regenerate. There's a joke about it in Destiny of the Daleks. Could this be her? I think so. Um, you know, could it be Omega? You know, just ideas are just popping in my brain right now. I don't think it'll be Omega, mainly because I, I just don't know. I don't know. So I think honestly, most likely option is it's the trickster. But being a version of Missy could be an interesting route. I mean, I like all the options I throw out there, but I think the idea of... Alright, picking two, which is what I did in the One That Waits video. I'm going to say either Susan's Watcher or The Trickster. Those are the directions I think this is going to go. Leave your comments. Leave comments down below on who do you think this character is. Because the way that this ended, I don't think we're going to get an answer for this one for a while. Anyway, that's it for this video. I'll see you in the next one.
Bye.